I can't believe we missed the flat Earth like, convention. Where was this? I think it was in like Westminster or something. Well, and there was a, a, a phenomenal comedian that brought up a great point for all these people. Why don't they travel to the edge? <laughs> like, it makes like if you truly prove it. it. <laughs> no, like wouldn't that be phenomenal to to, to to peek over the edge if there was a an edge? <laughs> Yeah, Dude, I edge what? all the time, I mean, but I'm pretty I think sure the comedian said, insane. wouldn't you want to build a house there to have the view <laughs> over the edge? The stars? Yeah, yeah. I forgot what's a great mean. view of stars. Well, maybe yeah. that's what happened to Amelia Earhart, you know? Yeah. The Bermuda Triangle is bullshit. She just flew. Right didn't they, didn't they find uh, where she flew, yeah. photographic <laughs> evidence that she landed in some place? Yeah, yeah. something <laughs> like that. She landed on the moon, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, if we can find folks that don't believe that we truly landed on the moon... Then that would be another episode where I just reached. Are you fucking serious? I I, I refuse to argue with it anymore. <laughs> God. Doesn't, it's not even bring it up anymore. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just looking at him and say like this, Neil Armstrong. Yeah. But at the same time, he'll be like LA. You know, like that's or all Francis right. Ford Coppola. Mm-hmm. Because what was the documentary about the the, the Stanley Hotel? The, the shining? And yeah. yes, it's not Francis it's not Francis Ford Coppola. I'm Stanley Cooper. No, Stanley Cooper. Right? Stanley Cooper, yeah. Pardon me. The, it's Room Eleven Nineteen. I forget the name of the actual uh-huh. documentary, but that he he was part of the filming of the fake landing. It's a really fascinating documentary. There is no fake landing. It's a real. You know, landing. I know it's a fact, but it's worthwhile just <laughs> watching the documentary. It's, it's, uh, I love. We it's about the that, like, we're gonna have a Truthers episode one week, and uh, you're Truthers. all welcome back. Truthers, where we just berate the shit out of one person whenever we find them. <laughs> Um, that he's like a dinner party, but yeah, podcast. Yeah, like, <laughs> nobody will know that that one per. Everyone will know except for that one person. That yeah, everyone, yeah, I'm like, hey, by the way, we heard that you don't believe in the dinosaurs. And just all look at it. Yeah, <laughs> it's serious. Yeah. yeah. Um. So we usually have one more question. I, this would be kind of improv. Should we ask him? Well, I think I think since like we're all kind of drinking booze, talking, you guys were your wineries, you got a Dino pass. I think it's pretty important to ask the Uber rating question. Yep. So, y'all, we didn't tell y'all this, but if y'all wouldn't mind, can you pull out your cell phones for those that have Uber? Would you click on your profile? What it says in the top left on your profile, it'll tell you a rating. Don't lie. See, I use Lyft more often, but That's, I have Uber. So yeah, you'll have a rating. You'll have a – Lyft does not have a rating okay. because, you Uber know, does. Uber does. We'll get Lyft to have one sooner or later. So, in fact, when I pull it up, I'm supposed to rate somebody you right just now. give him five stars. Okay, so that'll help me. We're not dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and then click that top button. And what's that number say? 4.93. Ooh, Ooh. That's a good one. He didn't ride very often, though. That's, that's, <laughs> that's true. And that's <laughs> quite true. That's fair. That's, that's, that's not too right. I mean, could go I mean, either way. I lived, in, I lived in San Francisco 11 years, so that's where Lyft started. I, I mean, Uber may have as well, but uh, we'll, we'll go around the circle. 4.93. 4.93. Miss Melissa? 4.85. All right, all right. Ooh, those late night tacos swing in. <laughs> <laughs> You're buying tacos, aren't you? <laughs> You're not buying them for the driver? I, I always offer them. You always, always have. Offer. I do the same thing. Well, you what's what's the percentage of drivers that take? I think only like 50%. Okay, half. Yeah. It's weird. Like, and I'll do the same with, because we live off Colfax. So it's like McDonald's for us, like, you know, or whatever, Taco Bell. I'm like, you want anything? They're like, man, just a large fry. And do you mind if I smoke a cigarette in here? I'm like, have at it. And here's your French fries. You know, like, you got to have that happy median, but I don't have a very good ready anymore. Uh, <laughs> Lowest of the bunch was still proud 4.8. Okay. So you have me beat. I used to have like a 4.97. And then we started this motherfucking segment, and my points have dropped just dramatically. So They're listening. They may very well be, <laughs> or I've just gotten to the point where I'm just like putting headphones on and not listening. So I think I'm still losing. Chris has got everyone beat. I'm at a 4.6, so it's okay. What do you, what do you have? I, do. I got a 4.97. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? Do you, do you bribe your, your Uber driver? Like, hey. Hook it up. Let's every see. now and then, every now and then, if I have a couple like, of singles left over from the night, it's yeah. not one of these people that like, $5 I'll pay with a credit card at a bar or something, but I always tip in cash because I just uh, like to do that. That's it. So that's I always it. have like some ones or something maybe left over from the night. So every now and then, I'll give the Uber driver. So you have a pocket dedicated to Uber tipping. I, yep. see, I see where we're going. We've right. heard, right. I've heard of He's this. Fine. So, so, yeah. 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 That's what it's doing. whatever you got to do. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised that we didn't have a lower rating after the holidays, but I'm glad to hear it, Chris. Uh, but hey, y'all, I want to thank y'all so much for joining us. We want to thank y'all so much for joining us. For our listeners at home, don't forget to go check out Blanchard Wines. 
Carboy Winery. And then also you can go get the Vino Pass at Get Vino Pass. Look at that. I nailed it. I was worried a little bit about it. You can follow all of these folks, not only on Instagram, but they're available on Facebook, Twitter, and all the kit and caboodles. But the Vino Pass is something we very much recommend. It brings you together with folks that you otherwise maybe wouldn't get to know, or you get to learn a little bit something about the wines you otherwise would not know. So it brings to light something you otherwise would be in the dark for. So we would recommend you tuning in, obviously going and checking out these local wineries, support local businesses. As we've said year after year, month after month, fuck Yelp, fuck King Supers and all the macro to, you know, folks out there, except for Budweiser. <laughs> but we do want to recommend this Vino Pass. Um, we don't stand by anything we don't believe in and we don't use. And a Vino Pass in 2019 is something that we, uh, we aren't, not going to use. We're excited about using. It's got uh, discounted rates. It brings to light on new places that you may be able to get some wine. And then at the same time, we have new guests, new neighbors, and also um, I have a new favorite wine. So y'all need to check this stuff out. Go check out Carboy Wine. Check out the Blanchard Family Wine. And then check out Vino Pass. Um, and then again, we want to thank all of y'all for uh, joining us this evening. Thank you uh, for your service, as well as thank you to the WeWork folks and the veterans and residents for what they have done as well for the community. And don't forget to go follow these.